Welcome back to this edition of our show from Logo to Impact. Now, when we talk about the cosmetics industry, it is indeed a buzz in India. You're seeing more and more brands, both from the domestic landscape and foreign brands, making that foray into the Indian market. The scope is enormous. We're seeing Inglot as well, which has taken some giant strides across the world, opening up uh, uh, in 80 countries, really. And uh, I've just been told that one and a half uh, stores grow every week as far as Inglot is concerned. This is a Polish brand. It came up uh, 30 years ago, and Dr. Inglot himself is here with us uh, to tell us more about the strategy that you've adopted. Now, I know that as far as your marketing uh, initiative goes, very recently, Women's Day, 8th March, you've had this uh, Guinness uh, Book event uh, where uh, more than uh, 1,300 uh, ladies, they took part in this initiative where it was all about painting nails, and that's the maximum number of... Uh, Ladies who've gotten together at one place to get their nails painted. So you've achieved something, but tell us what was the thought over here to drive this marketing initiative? What do you think you've achieved uh, by doing it? Well, uh, I think there is a, a kind of new start in India. We have fantastic partner here. And after, after uh, testing market, we, we decided, we together decided to, to uh, make a next step. Uh, actually, we have uh, 14 stores in India and uh, in the nearest future will be opened the, the next one in the mall of india the, the largest as far as i know largest mall in in whole country yes in delhi in delhi and and the plans for next uh, few years until 2020 is to have around 100 stores 100 100 spots right so i i think that this new strat and we 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 did it together in the very special day, Ladies' Day, so exact number is 1,328. Correct. So it's, it's right. really, it's and that, really that's been okayed by uh, the Guinness uh, yeah. people as well. So congratulations on that. But what do you think a marketing initiative by a brand like yours uh, can achieve through something that you've done like this? Because well, I know that you, I mean, just to put it in context, and viewers need to know this as well, that uh, you haven't gone all out advertising. Most of your uh, work in the marketing uh, side of things is word of mouth. And this is, uh, you yeah, know, yeah, a slightly yeah, different. Yeah, stri slightly different. You are right. First of all, we, we have to we have to uh, know that uh, England is outside of Poland only ten years. This year is exactly tenth anniversary. Mm -hmm. So we are relatively pretty young uh, company uh, if we compare our company to big players on the market. So you must know that uh, the, the standard advertisement on new, uh, airports, uh, newspaper is pretty expensive. So last last uh, years gave uh, smaller companies great opportunities to, to uh, go through through all those modern channels like Facebook, uh, Instagram. Yes, and it's more cost effective to go the social media Absolutely. Route. You can do it uh, from even small small city and you can within seconds to, to be yes. in, in, in other part of the And world. so you've gone big over there. Yes, yes. This is fantastic opportunity for, for us. Mm -hmm. Moreover, in our case, we do participate in largest uh, uh, trade shows for, for makeup artists, starting right. from east of uh, Australia and to, through Europe and then west of US. Right. And it is also a fantastic opportunity. So what is the profile of your clientele, Dr. Englot? It would be interesting to understand. And is this the same? Because you work in so many different geographies, how different uh, is your clientele, say, in India, compared to the many other uh, countries well, that you present in well uh, it's not not uh, very different because we are well prepared we, we as we sell our products let's say northern countries like 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 Norway Sweden or Finland as well as in Nigeria so we are relatively well prepared for India to, uh, which has also different climate different different yes. skin tones starting from 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 south to north or uh, East to West. In my opinion, we have one of the largest selection of colors. So mm -hmm. in, in each product, uh, we, we offer around three, four hundred different colors. So it's very easy to, to, to select the proper collection for a particular market right. or sometimes for a particular uh, part of the, uh, the country. So the idea is to have a large portfolio yes, of yes. offerings and that's something that you've stuck to. I also want to understand how this market in India is different. Uh, by way of what it's looking for from a cosmetics brand. Yeah. The first of all, I have to tell you that we we, we uh, have some some uh, daughter companies. This is case of Australia, UK, U US, and among all those 80 countries where we are present at the moment, uh, 10 
10 countries are operated by, by our companies and remaining uh, are, are operated by franchising partners. And this model seems to, to, to work mm -hmm. quite, quite nice. Um, Largely malls? Uh, preferable. We select premium malls for sure. Right. Uh, that's that's, that's the, 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 the key. For, for countries like, like, like India or, or uh, uh, s some other countries located in, in very hot climate, right. uh, it's, 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 it's essential to be in uh, well air conditioned uh, uh, places. There is one technical aspect, the temperature for to, to, to store cosmetics, the temperature ah. should be uh, below 30 degrees. Sure. So that's, that's the key point. But also, Dr. Inglot, uh, let's just uh, take two steps back because here's a brand that grew uh, very rapidly. It came out of Poland. Uh, now, this is a country where you haven't seen that much of uh, entrepreneurship uh, that goes out to the world. You started out very differently because from what I understand, it was uh, uh, chemicals that were cleaning cassettes as, as a company. That's yeah. what you were doing. And, and vinyl records at, as well. At, there you go. Antistatic liquids. Uh, exactly. And then there were these uh, eyeshadows that were cheap and they were easily available in supermarkets in Poland. So it came away from a very small space to kind of think that big, to take the brand across uh, Polish borders and into the world at large and being present now in 80 countries, that has to be a huge leap of faith. Well, uh, in this, this moment, I, I need to point out some, some ideas of my brother. So. Uh, Maybe 25 years ago, he decided to not to compete with with cheap brands. Mm -hmm. So he decided to to use only uh, best uh, chemical compounds available on the market. Mm -hmm. And I think it was very good move. I'm sure it was very uh, good move. So uh, short after that, the ladies uh, noticed that that the products are uh, high quality. Right. And it was relatively easy to convince them to, to, to start to buy uh, our products. Mm -hmm. uh, very easy in Poland. So in, in, until 2006, I would say, we achieved relatively dominating position with around 160 spots. Mm -hmm. And then we realized that not enough room to, to, to expand. So we made first step to go to, to Canada. Right. As they accepted without any big problems our products, so we, we, we did the next steps. What about yeah. the price strategy, Dr. Inglot? Because that is going to be crucial, especially in a price sensitive market like India. Our prices are more or less the same in, in all countries. Uh, just just they, they varies due to the local duties and, and, and taxes. Mm -hmm. uh, as I mentioned before, we, we use the, the best ingredients available. Right. So they, they, our products are not cheap, but they are uh, acceptable. How do you plan to really set aside Inglot as a brand going ahead? Because your marketing strategy, like I started out by saying, is more or less word of mouth. You've kind of relied on uh, traditional tools and now you're doing much more of that on social media as well, which is again, uh, trying to promote that word of mouth style of marketing. Uh, you've had an initiative like the one we just talked about, the Guinness Initiative. Is that Something that you're going to keep doing in the future as well? Uh, uh, for we India? have not only, not only. We have uh, a lot of, lot of uh, new projects, mm -hmm. and and uh, I think that uh, in the nearest uh, future we will, we will have uh, any nice, nice uh, news for our uh, customers. But uh, let me, let me keep it. Uh, you already secret. have Sunakshi Sinha on board as someone who endorses the brand, or was it only for this initiative that you uh, brought her in? Until now, only for this. But I hope that we will. Uh, have much closer relations. All right. You're still holding your cards very close to your chest. We will be watching the space that Inglot uh, treads going ahead in India and, of course, uh, your presence in other parts of the world as well. Thanks very much uh, for joining us on the show, Dr. Inglot. Uh, pleasure having you with us. Thank you very much. And we will uh, be back after a very short break. Here's what's coming up in a moment.